welcome back to another episode of Logical Crazy Talk. You got me, Tim. We got Lifestyle Flashy. We got Money. What up, y'all? What up? How y'all doing? Yo. So, today's topic, man, I think it's going to be juicy. So, we're speaking to the to a statistic that's kind of flying out there, right? It's... I don't know. I think it's making its rounds, but this word hypergamy, you know, it's, it's in the Twitter sphere. And, um, <laughs> and basically it's like women are dating up, right? Like if you have a, a, a superior financial or social status, they're after you, which personally I do see a lot um is it a thing like is it trending i don't know like i don't know what are your what are your thoughts on this guys like what's well i see a lot of, you know i've seen so a lot of these red pill content guys have been talking about it like uh the kevin samuels the the fit and fresh podcasts those fellas seem to talk about that a lot. That seems to be the whole basis of all they do. That's all they talk about. And I guess that whole notion of like women only or women only wanting to date up, I guess, is the concept. Um, I'll say, yeah, I mean, I think that's, I guess that's pretty accurate. I mean, like if you think about it, when we were in high school, right? I mean, the, if if everyone was wearing white Air Force Ones, but you had like the Chi Town white Air Force Ones or the New York Air Force Ones, and you lived right. in Kansas or you lived somewhere else, right. all the girls wanted you, right? You was winning, easy, <laughs> right? like the, the easy button, <laughs> right? Like, Is that if what's everyone, going on? If Y'all went to nigga schools, didn't you? Know? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, all white. But <laughs> I'm just saying, like, <laughs> if everybody had the, if everyone had the uh, the Iris in Jersey. And if everyone had the um, the LeBron jersey, but you had like the, like the authentic, authentic Carmelo, right. Right. or you had the Carmen, authentic Tracy McGrady with the stars on it, well, I mean, you're pretty much done, right? <laughs> you've done what you've had to do for the. So I think we've seen these concepts play out. I mean, I don't want to simplify it or whatever the case may I mean, be, but yeah, I mean, it's exactly exactly that. Look at the club; like people will go to the club with quote unquote, you know, thousand dollar pair of shoes. And, you know, I can't tell you if they're real or not, but they got them. And it's just because it's a, it's a wow factor. Someone's like, ooh, if he has a thousand dollar pair of shoes, but, you know, oh. doesn't have a table. <laughs> 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 Something ain't connected. I don't know. <laughs> maybe he just likes being with, amongst the people. Maybe that's what yeah. He maybe he likes to be amongst some people. Finish. Like to do that, some people like to actually go on the floor and grab oh, some. Yeah, now, yeah, if he no doesn't doubt, bring no you doubt. back to the table, now he should bring you back to the table. Now, I do believe <laughs> if you see him more than like you know, you see this nigga every weekend <laughs> and he never has a table, Same, great. You should have some concern because <laughs> sometimes you pop in somewhere and you're like, What's this? and you're like, Ah, okay, it's kind of cool. I get that but <laughs> every weekend, brother. <laughs> no table. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it is. I mean, like this whole thing is about like who can effectively show their value amongst their peers with a sense of well, high value men. Yeah, yeah. But high and value then, men aren't sometimes going to a lot of these spots. It's the. But I mean, so though there is like the the. The technical high value man isn't, but the I guess the the, the custom player higher the custom uh, player, <laughs> yeah. But hold on, highly valued man. What's up? But we're the only ones siloing this. Like I mean, we're just you know we're speaking to a specific group of individuals who go out to the club and do X, Y, and Z. I mean, if we're speaking to hypergamy in general, mm. I mean, I think it plays out. I think it plays out in any sector, whether it be black, white, Hispanic professional non-professional so on and so forth i think we see it you know we see it and we see it all the time i mean i think oftentimes we're just using our experience of what we've seen yeah 100 yeah (laughs) Yeah. we're just just giving an example you know i don't want to also see the other example too oh yeah have you ever seen the like you go to the sammy t's 
in the uh, the Caucasian clubs. <laughs> like I Caucasian. You talking about clubs for white people? <laughs> white people. <laughs> <laughs> Put some more mayonnaise on that. <laughs> no, go but, ahead, uh, continue. But but I've always noticed like you go to some of those clubs, a white guy come in there with some some regular jeans, some some regular ass shoes, a white t shirt, and they drive like a nineteen sixty four truck that's kind of beat up. But everybody mm. was like, "That's his granddad's truck. He just loves a truck." And they give him the benefit of the doubt. But if we oh, put boy. the same exact outfit on a on a on a brother, them oh, them. Some African American women. Like, this this, girl, this podcast. This, stick to t- <laughs> stick to topic. Stick to topic, Chris. This it is, is not the shit on black I people. Mean, true. It's not the shit I mean, on black people. But I was just saying. Man, just saying. Like I've never been. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Blah, different blah, 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 standards. Blah, blah. What we, I'm we, saying. Chris, we're held to different standards. Do, it's not. It's not what you can do. What you want. It's we kind of put that pressure on ourselves. If 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 African American women did not care for that, we wouldn't do it. If we could fuck a bitch in a cardboard box. We damn sure would. <laughs> but we buy a house. Well, <laughs> so well, listen, value. Card. <laughs> listen, damn. listen, listen, Chris. Damn. We we have to get past the fact that you had to throw away your team Jordans and you had to go get phone passes. Oh, it's shit. okay, Chris. It's okay. We had to get past that. You made a mistake. <laughs> you should have you should you had some black cousins or someone you should talk to. You're gonna talk to. They're gonna tell you. I ain't you got no men in my family. They got they had no men. I got number the one. Girl, the, the girls, they, they like niggas too, right? They like they, niggas they, too, right? they were like that nigga got no chance. <laughs> Tell them about that to the world. <laughs> we, we just didn't even get over that. But so so I mean, this is all like it's kind of like all perspective, right? Like in the club, it's what you're wearing or whatever. Like, how can I profile your social status or whatever by what I'm seeing? Yeah. and um like dating apps it's like what lifestyle um it's just well different yeah you gotta put advertisements like sales ads up you putting up this was instagram is like hey i have no uh, come yeah. fuck me <laughs> honestly this is kind of off top it's kind of off topic but like we're kind of talking about these red pill guys i mean one of the things that fit and fresh kind of talked about was you know how like your social media it's like a sales is, funnel yeah basically <laughs> mm, yeah, it's like it, it's, get them, direct them to you <laughs> direct, the direct effect do you guys still do you guys like with hypergamy playing how do you get do you guys feel like the social the new social media sphere that we're in has kind of played into hypergamy a little bit uh, yeah 100 like you i mean it, it gives it gives everybody bigger reach, right? But specifically reach. to this, everybody's reaching for the top. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It it leaves out, you know, that that middle class, that lower class, and everybody's just like, how can I, you know, everybody's the coolest gangster in the world. Everybody's the richest person in the world. Everybody right. has the the coolest whips and take yachts every weekend. <laughs> Man. It's just it, this it's what we're in now and it's, i think it's so it, weird it's so it's weird a lot of people yeah it's so weird because i remember like i remember when we were trying to do i think what were we doing when we were, when we were working on the shoes chris when we we're trying to do the shoes uh, that's a project that no one no one got a chance to see but we we're working on the shoes and um i was traveling at the time that's when we were allowed to go back outside and i mean one year i went to like I went a lot of places just based on circumstances. And, you know, at the time it was a good year, whatever. Um, and I remember you got so angry at me because it's like, dude, these pictures you're taking. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> these pictures you're taking. Oh, was they bad? They're bad pictures. <laughs> they they well, were just, I, they weren't, they weren't the best, like to show like what was going on. Like we have other friends that would take yeah, pictures yeah. in front of towers yeah. and in, 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 in like that. cathedrals yeah, and they're like I did, that. like I did that <laughs> travel with I us that. i did that i did all that but you know i guess they weren't listen i didn't take influencer <laughs> based pictures i was in europe and i took hey i'm in europe and i'm excited pictures and i guess that <laughs> yeah, doesn't like a get picture you of the birds on like, the ground and we're like where are you at <laughs> <laughs> no that's not what i did that's not where what you I, did. At? <laughs> I did listen paris is dope and i was, was just this? soaking it in Paris is dope. England was dope. I was soaking it in. Yeah, this is my no first doubt. time there. 
It's my I, first I'm, time I'm, there. Like, I'm just like how, how you are, right? With, with certain pictures, I'm like, like when I'm with my family and shit, like I don't, I hate trying to like try to take pictures of everything because I just like being in the moment. But right. when they're some, I think what we were trying to do, I was like, there's, we need you to, to just go out there and get it done now. You're there. Like if there's no purpose for it, I understand it, but we had a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> and i had a purpose i had I never been to that. england and this the is the team's dope. purpose needs to be <laughs> we're a team we're trying to get something done and you, and you know, know honestly cool you know honestly i thought about it so many times and it was just like but it's like what will happen is i get distracted like it'll be like so like when i was in the yeah, loop, nervous right? too nobody wants to do it like when i used to go to the gym and try to pull out my camera like i hate doing no, it no everyone like, was I have to do it no in europe everybody was doing it dude Everybody was doing oh, shit. I don't so know the one, did. the one, the one good picture I did get, the one like whatever picture I got the most likes off of, I got two of them. Um, and we were with some. Uh, I mean, it was a study abroad trip, so I had we had some like some twenty one year old. Girl, they 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 were hitting the angles and everything. So they gave me one or two good pictures. The thing about it is, is that taking the time to do it, making sure you get the right shot when it's like, I mean, I don't know. It was my first time in the Louvre, and like everything is art. And I mean, I, I guess you have to be into art like that, but it's like everything is art. Like the walls are art. The sculpting is art. You know, then there's, there's the one art thing art. that you <laughs> can never mess up, art. Mark. You can never take too many pictures. You can never. Take what, what it was is that we did take too many pictures. We did take hella pictures. I, I posted the best ones. And honestly, I was just too busy looking at what I was looking at. And that's why. That's what happened, dude. That's what happened. Well, I don't Sorry. know. I don't, but, <laughs> that's what happened. Yeah, to bring it back though, like traveling like right, right, like Mark missed an opportunity. Obviously, he's not trying to 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 pull women in uh with his Euro trips and stuff like that because he's married. But fair point, for, Tim. Fair point. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I was trying like, to pull women, I think I would have took better pictures. I'm just saying. I think I would have figured it out. Freak you. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> if I was shot, I think I would have took better pictures. You know what I'm saying? Continue to. <laughs> so I don't know. Like nowadays, you have to think of that. Like if you're a single male out there, you have to constantly think. Like, but you can't deliver. Like, the, the, what do you mean? The weird part about that is like, all right, cool. You're taking all these like high class pictures, and now you have to deliver. So now what? Now, now the girl's like, like, hey, I like you. Uh, you seem like you're doing all these private jet and yacht shit you're doing all the time. And now mm. she's like, let me stay. Now, now you have to deliver. Because well, she's like, think, oh. But that's for the perpetrators. So the perpetrators can't actually like deliver on that. But the people that are only trying to do it for a moment, they can fly you out for that day and be like, hey, baby, you know what I'm saying? It's all on me. Hey, baby. It's in my budget. Hey, baby. Because <laughs> it's in my budget. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then be done with it. I also think as well that, you know, I think in this fake shadow world that we live in, I think what happens is like they get together and say, oh, you lied about all that. Well, you lied about all that. Well, you all right, come on. Right. <laughs> People <laughs> just some liars. Come we on, we got man. each other. <laughs> I think you that's like your pictures, girl. All your pictures got filters. <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So I think that's what it is. But I think at the time, because I think catfishing has to be at all all time high. It has to like, be at all time. Right, right now? Like, yes. yeah. It has to be. Catfishing has to you be. Know, it's like everything is like the, 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 the filters are like to the point where now they're changing your face. Yeah. I was just like about changing say, your face. Liz definitely just hit me with like, she showed me something on her phone and it was like some beauty effect. And I looked at myself and said, God damn. Like, I look <laughs> good. And then she changed it back. Like, ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> 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 what happened? <That's> good. <laughs> I was like, this thing changed the end. It took every wrinkle out your face. Your, your exactly. nose shrinked up a little bit. Everything was symmetrical and shit. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Damn. Then, it's uh, crazy. Then, yeah. it, it is. And I mean, with, with everything being like, I guess, digitized in a way or like moving to like the apps and all that for dating, it's, I don't know, it's kind of creating like a false reality of the attraction that you actually pull in reality. So, I mean, like, sorry to say that, but you know, it is. It's reality? 
Well, who, yeah, because who, who talks to girls in real life? So what the hell are you talking about? And that's what I'm saying. Like, so. <laughs> no one anymore. It's like, oh, what? You're talking to me? What? And Get away how, from my bubble. That's, my that's bubble. how it's happening, bro. And niggas is just getting left out. I think if you are actually, I think if you actually have the confidence to walk up to a girl, I think you're killing in this current economy. I think oh, you're yeah. murking left and right. Yeah. I think. And I think you're doing, and I think these are the guys that don't have to. Have now, to you, that. Uh, you you know why you're not? Why not? Is because they're they're going to be like, hey, what's your Instagram? No. Oh. And then you gotta go, <laughs> then you gotta give it to them, and they're like, nigga, you got two hundred friends. Mm, girl, mm, you ain't got no friends for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I would say so. It, it it would depend on what you're trying to attract. Like if you are trying to attract like that trophy wife or something like that, then yeah, she's going to be blowing in the wind again. But if you're trying to attract like something with substance, that's not like so superficial. Substance. Then... We're not talking about those girls. Those girls are even okay. okay. Well, then. All right. <laughs> hey, right, yeah, girls. Hey, hey, hold on to that point. Hold on uh, to that point. <laughs> we're going to talk about. Yeah, yeah. They're not gonna come back around on the back now. now. Yeah. 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 We're going to talk about that. Hold on to that point. All right, so let me ask you this then. Um, I mean, because I mean, essentially, we're just talking about these uh, fit and fresh guys, anyways. So when they talked about the hypergamy thing, one of the things they talked about was this concept that, you know, everybody, um, dudes, there's like a study apparently where dudes under the age of thirty, a third of them are now virgins, due to the new global economy that's being cre- created, um, by social media. Right, the sexual economy now has been globalized. Everybody's been flying out to Dubai yeah. and Paris, and London, <laughs> and Saint Tropez and Santorini, Greece, and Miami, and they're just they're just doing it. Thank they're you. just doing it. <laughs> and that college fella who just has a a, a, a good smile and some decent oh, beer and a, a solid Netflix account, right? <laughs> <laughs> it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't work. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I want to stay on topic, but that, that Netflix statement is it? How much? How much play did you guys get off the fact? Because I mean, I didn't realize how many people didn't have Netflix on campus. It was only like, like thirty percent. Netflix. <laughs> I'm saying it was, like, it was young man too. Realm. Yeah, I was like, that was young man. They weren't, there weren't enough movies on Netflix for me. I think we were still doing the Red Box shit. Sure, I was doing Netflix because I think I think Netflix <laughs> yeah. was doing the Red Box. Let me tell you, let me tell you about like, me. Like, in the movies, the Red Box just looked me. Like I knew we weren't finna watch that bullshit. <laughs> I, I got this DVD. <laughs> hey man, put that DVD in real quick. Ain't no finna watch. I, I watched that two three days later. Like, oh shit, let me watch it. We just look pretty good. <laughs> No, well, man. me and Tim had Netflix. <laughs> me and Tim had Netflix. You, you, they didn't get that luxury with me. You didn't get no luxury. Tim they had Netflix. The red box. Hey, man, that, it was uh, it was more cost efficient. People goes be like, oh, what, what, oh my gosh, what, what, what's this? Now that fella has to compete with guys with with, with sheiks and sultans. <laughs> 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 what do you guys think about that? Do you guys think that? So, first of all, do you guys think a third of the males now? Under thirty are virgins. You guys think that? It, 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 I think it's a study growing. for it. I think it might be, but I, I also think that third of men, it's it's self imposed. <laughs> like you aren't gonna get no pussy anyway. <laughs> if this, is, if this was <laughs> social media based or not, or globally based or not, you, you just weren't gonna get no. A because. third of the men though. A third man, of the men. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I can't say all the way that. I mean, that I would was say a, that is a personal problem. And a third it of is, a third, that is a third a of men can't if get you a can't, like, let me tell you now these if you're looking for one girl you know what I'm saying not every girl in that neighborhood can have flown out of Dubai all right <laughs> you can't find <laughs> one sure. one scallywag out there you can't find one <laughs> it's a third it's a third so the other two the two thirds are taking the scallywags that are still there right you can't it's, find it's a one trickle down no come yeah. on man come on doll come on man one, I, I, mean, I kind of believe it a little and bit. And these girls so gotta mean, come back. They gotta come back home. I they believe do. it a little bit. I believe it a little bit. I believe it a little bit. It's like you took- so you you gotta fly out there, high value. The other high value is staying in town because they're the big fish of their pond. The rest of it is just uh, you fight for something. scraps. You, you, 
You don't have to fight for scraps because that girl that gets a high do. value nigga, that nigga that's high value, not a lot of times too, is not just throwing dick around like he's just King Kong. You know what I'm saying? He's not practicing no more. So now your your job <laughs> is to be, is the, to be the cleanup man. The, no, it's it's the, it's it's it. It. <laughs> it so now I gotta be the Bad cleanup man. Hey man, whatever it takes, you gotta you gotta understand your place in this in this, in this lineup. Man. <laughs> what was that? The best, the best, the best. The best. <laughs> that, that's all. That, that's your only choice at this point. It's to be the best at what you do. Like if this nigga's over here flying, but hey, let me show you something, girl. She can put now. <laughs> now that nigga from Miami did some things, but this nigga. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. So that's the thing. I want to say this. I believe it to a degree. I believe that this is a thing. This is a new entryway into the market. And I think, you know, whenever you have new things to the market, like whenever, when we discovered, when we discovered social media for the first time, the whatever websites you're using, <laughs> mm-hmm. you, you did it to the max, right? right? I think a lot of these other guys are starting to realize these, these guys, these high value guys are realizing, like, look, I could just go search girls in this area. And I could just do mass messages and then whoever, you know, whoever messages back, you know, I could deal with that pool. And I think that's what a lot of these guys that they're speaking of are doing. That. But I do also, I do also feel like some of this data is a little skewed only because I'm just saying we've all met in from this age group and up that one guy <laughs> that ain't got a penny to his name. <laughs> But you fucked up. But, is- <laughs> but his girl is immaculate. The girl that's fighting for him is immaculate. The girl, the other girl that he had the baby with on the side of the other girl, <laughs> she's Man. immaculate. He just fucks nothing but immaculate women. And we're just like, we're just over here with our degrees. Like, what? Wait, <laughs> what? Wait. <laughs> that's the thing. But what? Like, <laughs> no, what? no, there's always those guys, right? There's always those guys. Those guys are always going to exist because that's just what they do. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas right, make money. Yeah. Some niggas fuck bitches. That's how it yeah. is. <laughs> it's a bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas just... <laughs> make money. Some bitches. Some bitches. I will some niggas say this. Really spend their time on that shit. Like, I do believe that if you time. focus, to say yeah. it a little bit more eloquently, I do believe if you focus your all your effort and focus into one specific focus, whatever it is. Mm. You'll become you're gonna be at you're gonna be efficient and expert at it, a hundred percent. And if all you do is wake up, like we saw those guys on campus, that's all they did. They were like, okay, yeah. so I need. They were just in school just to get Fuck long me. enough to get their refund check, right? <laughs> and right. Have sex with women. That was it. That was it. <laughs> Money and bitties. <laughs> Man. So. No, so I, I I'll cross the, so I'll cross the board. You, y'all y'all agree to y'all agree or no? I agree a little bit. You agree yeah. that the, the third of men are virgins now because of this Instagram shit or yeah. the whole social media aspect? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, the dating app. Um, I I I God damn it, I, I can't agree with that one. I don't. Yeah. It's too much going on. Like like if if you can't do it on your own two feet, right? You can't go out there and. Like you got it made right now, brother. You don't even got to be you no more. You can f- catfish a bitch. <laughs> <You're> like, hey, <laughs> <My People>. <laughs> hey. <laughs> let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got I, I choices think, now. <laughs> I think it's true because it's just like a, a trickle effect of I don't know of life, right? Like you have everybody going for the top, then. <clears throat> The people that aren't at the top they're the big fish of their area and then after that just kind of flattens out like everybody's not not top 10 so everybody's not getting shot at off rip but like for men shooting. yeah but but so if you're shooting you're not top 10 they're not looking for you they're looking for that it's still a shotgun yeah. method. You still, Outside. if you have a problem, shotgun method that bitch. But you they probably something. don't have the confidence for that because <laughs> they're not getting anything. You don't need it anymore. You got social media. <laughs> you don't need confidence anymore. 
<laughs> just like, say just, it. Like back in our day, we might have to have a little confidence because you you, oh, you, you, you definitely had to have a little had confidence. To. But now I don't know. I don't know. I don't know just about, someone not responding to you in the club. Mm. <clears throat> what you say? Nah. I said someone just not respond to you is not a lack. It doesn't hurt your ego, right? And even if she does respond, just delete the shit. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. But you can't delete when a bitch is like, "Oh, nigga, no." <laughs> 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 that shit. Oh, when the whole group moves on you because you try to dance with the Ooh. one friend. Oh yeah, lord. You see- you see, the, you see the light shining in your face? <laughs> we're good. We're good. <laughs> we're, we're, she got a we're, like, how we're, you we're tired. <laughs> we're going to rest our feet. We're first. tired. <laughs> Wait, that man, is so terrible. <laughs> we good. We good. I swear we good. We good. <laughs> Me and Pat looked at each other like, damn. <laughs> I swear we good. I swear we good. I swear we are good. Who are you swearing to? Shit. Oh, man. Because <laughs> I ain't. <laughs> oh, man. Well, all right. Well, so go I guess... Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. All right. So, I mean, I guess we're looking at it. We're just looking at all these things that happen. I mean, so... I guess we're sticking to this the, this one specific podcast. Not dropping no, no deuces on them. Kind of, but uh, <laughs> you know, it seems like everybody making this like these uh, these this this thing of like this crisis that exists is like this big thing that ex- uh, is, exists in some spheres. I, I clicked on one Kevin Samuels video, and I swear these videos keep populating on my YouTube. It makes me want to get off YouTube, <laughs> YouTube. but these fe- fit and fresh dudes are like are always on, and it's like they're always saying something wild, reckless. Like on, the, it's always like the thumbnails, like bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Like, oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> big bowler. I love this video. <laughs> bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. <laughs> and then and on the subtext, watch fit and fresh decipher what the, the value. <laughs> like, Wait a minute, you just said bitches. Ain't. But anyways, so you know, there's this whole red pill content thing that's going on, and everybody's just can't get enough of it. And um, you know, these guys are starting to these fit and fresh guys are starting to be on other. Uh, another podcast i guess i frequent i saw him on no jumper and uh adam told you asked these dudes and i wanted to run this by you he asked these dudes he's like hey man so what do you tell a person a dude that comes to you and who's like who wants to get married and he gave him these four points i think or three or four points uh hopefully i remember number one you have to be 35 all right all right number two you have to be fit. Well, you kind of should be. You should always be. We should all, we should all be healthy, if right? You're, if you're single. <laughs> you know, you should be healthy, right? Uh, number three, you must make $100,000 a year, at least. Listen, $100,000 a year, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, hmm. that's a good, that's not a bad goal to have if you're trying to get married, right? That's not a bad goal. It's reasonable. Last but not least, you have to fuck 50 women. <laughs> Preschool. <laughs> I can agree. I can agree I, with that. I was looking at I was looking at my I was looking at my I was looking at my phone like, oh these niggas tripping. <laughs> these niggas is tripping. So you agree with that, Chris? 50? Uh I I mean I, I don't think you know it's a number on that on that but you should you should have banged enough chicks to be out to, to get it out your system <clears throat> now that yeah. is very different from 50 <laughs> 50 i mean I, when they say 50 i, I think they said it's a know. specific number bro a specific number i don't know why it would be 50 because i mean shit some niggas is hitting 50 before they get out of high school good and that's yeah. the thing I don't know. I mean, I, I wouldn't, for my take on it, I wouldn't put like hard numbers on it, like statistics of, you said what, 35? Yeah. 100,000, we, we that. like that's... The math is, if you start fucking at like 17, 18 years old, it's three people a year. Yeah. That's not terrible. It's not. A whole year. If you're single and you're shooting, is it's people not a year... But if you're looking to be married, like that's gonna slow up at some point of 
Um, I, I don't know how to have a real relationship. If 25. You're, if you're banging three or four people a year, you should be all right. Yeah, but I mean, but you're probably you going to get comfortable with that. So you're how not are you transitioning, a real relationship. How are you transitioning yeah, to get married? Like, so, so within that... Just like uh, anyone else, like... I, fucking 15 to about 24 25 <laughs> <laughs> i was a monster <laughs> but at 25 it's like shit man i'm tired of this shit like you get tired of it you, you literally just get tired of like bitches like certain shit that girls say you be like oh all right i know this is going let's do this and it becomes repetitive so you're like i want to do some more let's find something different that's more intriguing let's let's have something that's meaningful that's fun. <laughs> I just want to come <laughs> home and bring a dang dang. Yeah, just can we like watch TV for a minute? Can you, can can a nigga get his back rub? Can, can you cook something? Can you make me some something to eat? <laughs> can, give me a little love, baby. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, okay. I think that's what that's the transition. Is like that 24, 25, you get tired of that shit, and you want something a little, little more. You have your weekends where you like, I just want to bang anything, but. You're like, eh, I'd much rather just kick it with one person and have fun. Sure, I don't know. I mean, I feel like if if it was going hard that long, that strong, like, what's, I don't know. Like, it, it wouldn't keep me from saying I want to slow down because I could, I guess, slow it down whenever you want. But I mean, what am I trying to say? If you you have 50 partners or had 50, 50 partners, I'm probably going to want 50 more because I'm going to probably yeah. like, try, I'm going to try to one up. Like if it is getting bored, what's to say I need to start going after these blue check people? Like, mm. let's, let's see, you know what I mean? Like how far can I go? Because it's like, all the same. Now, man. Now it's, but can... now it's quality. No, you can fuck 50 bitches from different quality levels. And this ain't fuck 50 mile bitches. <laughs> this thing just 50 bitches. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying though. But I'm mean, saying I like know, after you already some, some some low class bitches, you'll fuck some medium class bitches. Fuck some <laughs> class bitches. At the end of right. the day, that nuts the we... same no matter how you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I mean the number is the same, but at the end of that, I'm not <laughs> getting the, tired. The, the, I'm the just looking the at the, the net is oh that nut is the exact same. We like shit. That bad bitch was a basic ass nut in that. Now, sometimes these ugly bitches be like, "Woof, bro, that murder just can't take you out." It was, but it's it's like what? It was. It's, it's you like, say it was. You say it was. <laughs> you know, experience. Like Tim just got from Tim just got transported. Like uh, it was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was the greatest. So it's like searching for a job, right? Like at the beginning, exactly. you're just trying to look for any job, but at the end. You're looking for like a quality job, like so you're gonna go after those more challenging women. But you know, so she you learned be like, from those this more is challenging my, women. My, my resume. They have more problems. They Maybe. have more problems than, than, than regular women. These, these high class, like I'm just. They have. They're they're they the, they're mainly insecure. Like you would you would That's never right. think these women are insecure. They're crazy insecure. They're annoying as fuck. They don't know shit. It's, it's a damn. lot going on with these bitches. And you're like, oh, God damn. Like, give me they some. This just looks normal. Not a lot. Just, the, the conversation is not there. Like, you you, uh, you look at some girls, right? You're like, man, that's the baddest bitch in the world. Bitch got a fat ass, big ass titties. I'm finna write no shit out of this bitch. And then, like, you wake up in the morning. She's like, oh, I don't know. Why is the sky blue? And you're like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you can't find the facts of life. Like, you're looking at her sometimes <laughs> when she talks to you, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Just Get out. It. Get the fuck out. <laughs> but I mean, I, I would say so they are those, but they are the quality women that have all that and they have the intelligence. But then you have to deal with that uh that mentality that piece of, of like shit. yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's that's what you'll deal with next. And you gotta beat her up because you gotta be like, hey, listen, I'm the man around this motherfucker. Whoa. Whoa. You beat her up literally. Right? I'm just saying, <laughs> you guys are gonna challenge oh. me. That is oh. that is cancel <laughs> alert. <laughs> Whoa. You know, I'll I'll whoop some ass around this man. That's what I have to deal with every day. <laughs> Liz was well, she thought she was a big dog, and we and her two wolves in the house. This shit was terrible. 
Mm. You have it, it, one person just has to. It took. It takes years, <laughs> but you have to fight that bitch out. Man. Man. But you, you you run into that. You got you know someone that it comes with everything, but they're gonna also want you to be the bitch, and you're like, nah, <laughs> I can't right. do that. Like no go. Yeah. It, so you got that problem too. You finally find a chick that's bad. She has all that shit, and she's smart. Now you're like, huh. So I gotta be the bitch running. <laughs> That's like, interesting. Yep. yep, you gotta be the bitch. And you're like, all right. <laughs> or <it's- laughs> That's what I'm saying. What, what do you I, think, Mark? I feel like that shit. I feel like these dudes, I think there's some truth to what's going on. And I think a lot of the truth for what a lot of these dudes, especially specifically the fit and fresh. So, first of all, to address them, like I feel like a lot of their content is based upon like a specific set of the population. Like not every female is running up to Miami and jumping on a yacht and cheating on their boyfriend to have sex with a gang of dudes. Not every girl is doing that. Is there a rising population of that? Yeah, because I mean, it's a new global economy. People are just getting used to it or whatever the case may be. And I mean, first and foremost, one of the things we didn't discuss is like, when you get down there, we don't, you know, are you gonna like it, (laughs) right? Like, are you gonna like, all the cool things that are gonna get happen, right? Like that's, I mean, we, we're not talking about things of that nature. That's number one. I feel like these guys, all they do, they, they create this like thing. They're like the motivational speakers. It's like the general problem. You're not getting buffet, <laughs> <laughs> right? And, so that's the general problem. And if you're, a fe- if you're a fella who's sitting there and are not getting anything, you're like, you're like, you're like, yeah, I'm not getting pussy. Whose fault is it? <laughs> it's like them over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's these bitches. <laughs> like, like, like the motivational speakers will just blame like conventional, like corporate America. Like the corporate America, the corporate machine doesn't want you to succeed. They want you to be a cog in the wheel and just work. And blah 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 blah. And you're just and they're getting rich off your efforts. And what you should do is just become an entrepreneur. And then general then vis a vis general answer. There's like a general answer. Become an entrepreneur. Be an entrepreneur doing what? That's a vast, it's like, I don't know. I've watched a lot of their uh, stuff because I knew we were going to talk about them. And it's just like, it's like, it's like these general answers. Like you have to have gay, you have to be in shape <laughs> and you have to make a hundred thousand dollars. It's like, well, okay, well, <laughs> that's the answer to everything, right? <laughs> oh, man. Which always oh, man. then leads because then your brain as a man, as any person who is a consumer of these products, now you're confused, right? Because they gave you the general answer, but you know there's something more. There has to be more. So you continue to watch and keep watching. And then they get to the rub, which is, hey, I have a course that'll teach you how to bang <laughs> girls in Miami that look like this. And everyone goes, here's my money. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I think that's probably the, the, the reason I look at that and I go, now come on, man. Like any person that's watching that. You, you're losing already if you're if you're writing notes and taking notes from this shit you're done you, you, you have no chance <laughs> you can practice all you want and it might make you a little bit better but mm-hmm. that's a natural instinct you have it, it comes from your balls fella <laughs> you gotta go up there <laughs> it comes from your balls i don't necessarily agree with that yeah, you've always said that you've always said that i don't necessarily agree with that <laughs> i think there is some systems there's some structure there's some things that you can learn to give you a little bit more confidence and to that will help you present your best self I do believe in that. Do I believe you, that? But you have to have something too. You have to have that thing, right? Like, like as the person? In sales, right? It's, it's, you can teach someone how to sell something all day long, right? But you have those people that are just never going to get that because they just don't have certain things you just need <laughs> in order to make a sell. Like you have to have certain aspects that just are natural or you always come off as you're like selling something. And some guys, we just don't have it. You just don't have it. So ain't, ain't no course you can take to fix that. Mm, I don't know. I, I, I beg to 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 say you can learn it. Like, I mean, like, what are they really learning to? Um, like, what's a trait that you can't be taught in a realm of like approaching a woman or you know driving oh. up your attraction for a woman? That you cannot be taught it's just yeah. it's hard it's hard to tell your nervousness if you're truly naturally nervous like that's something that is that is something that typically doesn't dissipate unless it's like experience so i mean to chris's point like 
if you've never been around, let's just say this, let's just say you're part of this third, right? That they're saying exists and you've just haven't had sex with a woman, period, right? Not even a woman that would be classically considered by everyone as unattractive, right? You haven't even had sex with like an unattractive girl yet. It is hard to say that a course is going to give you enough confidence which is what you'll need to be able to maintain a conversation with uh, attractive women. It's hard to say that a course will give you enough confidence that you'll be able to just bang like the <laughs> women that they're speaking of. And that is what's a little interesting because it's just like that one fellow is sitting there and he's like, oh yeah, well, ha-ha, well ha-ha. if I angle my feet that way, it looks like I'm not really sticking around or whatever. Yeah, that's, that's exactly like, the what? shit I was like, have uh, you seen what? it? The psychology of it. It's like, what? yeah, it, like giving you sales psychology tips, right? Like when you talk to someone that walks into a store, the first thing you go, hey, can I help you with something? The first thing a person says is no, because you're naturally just going to say that. But mm-hmm. if you come up to someone and go, hey, I like that watch you have. Well, where'd you get that watch from? And that person's like, oh, I got it from Samsung you're like, or whatever it is. You got to have a conversation about something completely different. That, that gradual, hey, um, can I help you look for something? What are you looking for today? Oh, um, um, my so and so, so and so, because it's just a natural conversation now. Yeah. So it's yeah. that's so all I'm, they're teaching you. <laughs> and I'm just saying, like those tactics are not going to be enough. Because as a person who wasn't the best at sales at first, who had to learn how to be good at sales, all the all the flash, uh, <laughs> all yeah. the all the I role think- plays didn't help at all. I just had to get used to having a sales conversation. But that's what I'm saying. So, I mean, that. like, the, the big thing here is, like, they're teaching, well, they should be teaching, y'all know what they, they teach, but they should be teaching you repetition, because it's in the numbers. Like, if you but, keep but on going out there. Though. There's no course that teaches repetition. That, <laughs> like, no, I mean, <laughs> that's what but I'm telling you. And they're probably saying, like, just go out there and do it. Like, this is how you approach and da-da-da, but, like, you're not going to get it on your first try. You're going to get it as you keep on doing it. It's practice. Once you keep yeah. practicing, practicing, then it's just uh, muscle memory. It seems like they're doing that, but on top of that, they might be right. You might be true. Yeah. But it seems like they're doing it. They're putting their content out to like fuel. Like, hey, this product ain't working because these bitches ain't shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, damn. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it, it, <laughs> that that target market they talking about, they ain't shit. <laughs> My own boy said it on time. And, you know, I don't want to minimize them, even though, I mean, we were kind of shitting on them a little bit, but I mean, I don't want to minimize them. But my homeboy is like, he said something to me one day. He's like, I have never been angry because a girl didn't choose me. And I was like, oh. <laughs> should, you, should people be angry for that? Yeah. Wait, I what? Knew. And, so I'm not saying, listen, I don't watch everything, but it seems like there's a certain sense of anger that exists in regards to the way they talk. <laughs> Like Get that videos, bitch. <laughs> yeah, nah, that video like, like that situation we in the don't club. Want hoes. It's like, <laughs> well, actually, the guys do like hoes. I'm just saying, like guys typically do. I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> make the best, you know, girlfriends at the end of the day, right? Yeah. Isn't that what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I have no recollect. I have no recollect or knowledge of that subject matter. My wife is. A, Wonderful individual. I didn't say you have to marry a hoe. I said they make good and I, and, I, and I love her very much. She's the light of my world. She's the stars in my sky, my moon in my sky. That this moment was brought to you by We Love Our Wife. <laughs> we love our wife. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We love you. <laughs> But man, no, I get it. I mean, I so the only thing I can think of of men getting mad about rejection was like in the club or something when they <laughs> approach her like, oh, what up, ma? And then she's like snatches back and looks at him like, what? You ugly <laughs> anyways, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I do feel like women can be a little little less aggressive with that. You know how much confidence it takes a nigga to be like, hey, I was wondering what your name is. And then your goddamn business. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, like how do you expect someone to respond? And, hey, and honestly, hey. I, but but I will say they do sometimes they do that to everybody. And I've seen a dude now, I'm not saying that I've done it because usually, usually, what I can if I've ever I've never caught that per se aggressiveness, 
but I've caught some slickness. And typically speaking, it's like, okay, well, we can just move on to the next situation, right? That's typically my philosophy. But um, I've seen a dude weather that storm and end up getting the number and then bashing that thing out for several weeks. I I thought it was interesting. <laughs> to me, that's not like a try harder situation. Like if they coming off like that rude, I'm like, yeah, I'm done. Cool. Bye. What's, what's up with your friend? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't look that rude. Sorry. My bad. Right. That toxic I picked the wrong one. <laughs> toxic male. Like, oh, okay. Bro. Anyways, <laughs> it is. I mean, if she's gonna come at you like that, like if, if you, you know, the plan with Tim. Hey, what's your friend want to drink? What do you want to drink, baby? Exactly. You good? You good? Wait. <laughs> but everybody drinks oh no not the root one you were real rude <laughs> you got a lot going on over there i don't know what's right. going on like you said you um, were you man or she good you ask your nigga good. for that drink because you got one right <laughs> you were action packed over there action packed <laughs> you had too many to drink all right you cool <laughs> good man but yeah, I mean, yeah, it's the same, it's the same dudes. But think about it, we always used to look at those dudes like they're crazy. But I guess in this growing like social media economy, like I guess people like that have a space. It's a lot, a lot of these dudes, bro. It's a lot of these dudes. It's a lot of these. What you should be doing is being a man and hunt and just you shouldn't be hanging. They, they, they're killing masculinity. <laughs> they're killing masculinity. We should be all out here hunting. And, and doing this and that, the <laughs> fucking bitches and bitches just only fuck us because we want to fuck them. Like every bitch that we want to fuck should fuck us because we're masculine men, but they're trying to make us beta males. <laughs> beta males. Oh shit. The beta I, we, 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 we got a home, we got a homeboy right out here right now that we all know on this podcast who's putting out red pill content on their social media. He's, I'm pretty sure when they're gonna start a podcast pretty soon, if that's all they're gonna talk about. Hey, Y'all know who it is. You, about? you better call the names, ain't it? Shit, you <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I, 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 I also we'll bring I know him, we'll I bring I know him on the show. About. That's my homeboy. I'm gonna go work out that nigga soon, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about him when I talk about it. I'm just more so saying we have a homeboy. We have a person who's doing it. But traditionally, back in the day, whenever we saw somebody do that, we just look at them like that. Y'all, wow. Yeah, I don't think, <laughs> uh, um, I don't, I don't think the whole alpha beta male thing is a is not anyone can push you to one way or another it's just who you are as a person it's all. not but people are using concepts of psychologically and they're psych- psychologically <laughs> they're using <laughs> concepts of psychology <laughs> and they're making it and they're shaping it to whatever like weaponing they nice. wanted to weaponing yeah nice and i'm doing what you're doing yeah <laughs> weaponing <laughs> nice. I, 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 I know good and got done well if you, if you act like a little if you act I guess real feminine around girls, so the girl wants it. Like, yo, you, a woman shouldn't dictate how you act. That, that's crazy. That'd be weird as fuck. When, oh, maybe I don't know. Maybe niggas is doing it now. I don't know. Women dictate a lot of shit nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who runs the world, girls? Shit, man. Let me ask y'all a question that, that was yeah. brought up. Let me ask you a question that was brought up. Uh, shit, for real. It was a it was a weird question. It was does does your wife fix your plate when y'all are out? When we're out. Yeah. Like of our friends or something like that? Like anywhere. Does your wife fix your plate? Sometimes. If she's like already in the, the kitchen, kitchen and all that. Yeah. yeah but if I'm over there first, it's I'm too. like, you want it's not universal. It's not a universal, like I get this. I mean, but typically speaking, if I'm sitting down, my plate, she'll fix my plate. Yeah. Okay. Or she'll ask me, like, you want me to fix your plate? And I'm like, yeah. Okay. Because oh, it's not I don't believe in that. And I was like, like like he didn't believe in it. <clears throat> like on, no. on which side? The, it was the a woman that said that. A woman said okay. she didn't believe. In it. Oh, well. And yeah. I was like, that's really see. Weird. They're making it's, it it's the it's wife. <laughs> the <church laughs> no, because I was like, I was trying to explain. Him, but I was like, I was like, my way. wife always fix my plate, no matter where we're at. And I was like, mm-hmm. it's just a. It's not trying to say like I'm the more dominant person or whatever it is. She's like, but you got two hands. Like, goddamn right, I got two hands. Mm. But she does too. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, but, it no, could be but, culture too. It might be that, but I was I just thought it was like a weird like I was like it's not saying that she's I'm better than her, she's better than me or whatever it is. Like I think she naturally does that. That's a natural thing. I've never had to do it, so I've never thought about that's it. A, that's that's a cultural thing. Because I'll say this, I'll let you know. So my little so I'm half Nigerian. 
<laughs> um, and I remember, uh, I think it was Easter, last Easter, um, my dad was over at my mom's house um, and, you know, my, his, uh, his sisters from his other, uh, my, my sisters were over and uh, they're younger. And uh, <laughs> um, he was like, oh, I want some more chicken. And I was like, oh, I'm about to get up. I can grab it for you. He's like, nah, your sister will get it. And she looked and she looked up from her phone. And she's like, <sighs> and she got the plate. <laughs> and she got okay, the plate. See, How much right? do you want? Yeah. That's a, right. That's but, no, 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 no. But I mean, it's a culture thing. That is okay. just Nigerian culture. Not every Nigerian, so, you know, prescribes to that. But that's just old school, like, look. And his whole thing was, his whole thing is, he wants, and you know, you can agree or disagree, it's up to you, but his whole thought process is, I am trying to teach her how to be a wife. So he's, he's like these he, classes. Who, who, sister, whose sister is this again? My sister. My dad oh. is trying to teach his daughter how to be a wife, essentially. So these are, you know, he has these thought processes and, you know, it's so based on quality said this. No, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. I'm confused Tim, with Tim, what you're saying right now. Tim, what guy Tim. is saying this? Right. My father. Dad? My father. So your dad told your sister to fix it. No, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's different. Okay, all right. I thought you were saying that her boyfriend said this. I was like, nigga, I will beat his ass in the crib. <laughs> no. Uh-huh. The nigga said this shit. No, <laughs> like, she's in high school. First of all, I, I haven't seen her next to a boy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm trying she's to figure not ugly either. I just like, don't think boys I thought you were trying to tell me like her boyfriend came to y'all's crib and was like, nah, nah, your sister do it. Like, man. No, like, nah. oh, okay. oh, that would have sparked my attention. Like, nigga, what? <laughs> 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 What'd you say over what, there? What, what you got going on? <laughs> Excuse me from the table, real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you good? No, no, no. Y'all might, y'all might need to do it. No, no, y'all might need to do it. No, because he about to get fucked up in a second. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> but if you like him, you might want to oh, get got, him out of here. I, I got hot for you, Marco Vier. Like, nigga, what? <laughs> no, nah, it was my dad. My dad was like, oh, no, your different. sister. Your that's sister different. will fix the play. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, that's training. I got you. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were saying another fella did it. I was like, no. Huh. She was sitting there playing on Naruto, Naruto game, and she was just like, <laughs> and she went and got the play. Because I felt some type of way when my sister's boyfriend did that, her husband did that. And I was like, what are you doing, man? And he was like, I'm trying to fix her plate. For what? <laughs> I was like, what are, you, what are you doing? You trying to impress us? Nigga, that's not impressive. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> well. See, see, Chris, see, Chris, the current <laughs> generation right now is attacking masculinity, Chris, and trying to make us feminine but, and beta males, and they want us to carry the purses and raise the kids. But at the but same the, time, the, the they discussion want us turns into that, salaries. right? I was telling, I was like, they're like, I was like, I don't do girly shit, and I, that's like the the worst way to word that. Then I think everyone got upset. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was a it was a, it was a large group of people, so I was like, I don't do girly shit. Like girly shit. What's girly shit? And I was like, I don't do dishes. I don't clean mm-hmm. up. I don't. I don't do that shit. I don't, I don't wash clothes. I don't fold clothes. Mm-hmm. I'm that shit. And they're like, oh, and it was like a big deal. And I was like, had to explain it to him. Like, I don't know how your relationships work, but like, there's a lot of burdens that I take on that you probably have that <laughs> you have to deal with. It's like, my wife doesn't have to deal with any bill whatsoever. Yeah. All those concepts to her mean nothing. She has no idea what nothing costs. So in her mind, anything she wants, she can get done. But <laughs> on the <laughs> other side of that, <laughs> she has to do the kids stuff. She, I was like, I have no idea what the kids cost. Like when they have to go to back to school shopping and all that shit, no idea. And mm-hmm. that's her role. We play those roles and we do a really good job as a team. But I don't do dishes and I don't do all, I take out the trash, I wash cars, I do all, mow the lawn. I do all that shit. Hmm. He doesn't have to pick up bags out the car when she buys the groceries. We are a really good team. But for for me, it's like if the dishes are piled up, I'm, I'm looking at them too. <laughs> like, who's, who's doing this? <laughs> Damn. And, and now like, if it gets overwhelming, my job is to provide. I'll buy a maid. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go get you a dental servant. Like, hey, you live here now. 
<laughs> and then once I like explained Don't that, everyone kind of like, everyone kind of looked at it like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> well, so this is the thing. This is the thing. This is this is, this is the, all right. <laughs> this one. So I'll say this, Chris. That some people would consider that to be old school, right? Cool, whatever. But what I'll say to you is this: is that a lot of dudes talk that old school shit and are not able to do old school shit, right? <laughs> right? A lot of dudes, like, when you step into those classic lines of thinking, there's a certain level of responsibility that you have to take into. I'll be very honest with you. <laughs> that's not where I'm at, right? Like, that's not where we're at. Now, um, me and the missus, we make collectively a pretty decent amount of money individually we make a decent amount of money too as well like that. i mean but you know we at, at the beginning of this whole thing we did it. <laughs> we did it so these classic concepts or whatever the case may be it's like you know what i mean like i don't have the option of buying the mate you know what i'm saying i don't have an option of buying x y and z i don't have that so it's like okay well let's the next the next compromise is we have to work together or we have to do this. We let's take turns. Let's do X, Y, and Z. When we get to the point where a maid can be purchased, it's like, okay, well, yeah, maybe you don't got maybe, you know, <laughs> maybe we can I can slack off and do X, Y, and Z. Who knows? But I'm just saying, like, a lot of dudes talk in that mentality, but they don't have the ability to talk in that mentality. Right. I mean they don't bring home the bacon. At the end of the day, they're not doing everything they need to do to come home and just be like, well, I've been out there just killing it all day. So like, well, let me explain that part too. Me and Liz both work. I think Liz has a really good job too. Like not saying she doesn't, but I know you do. Her check but is I mean, made for that. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah. like, I felt and like I, as an adult, like as a man anyway, with this family, I have to provide, but she, like, I guess that's, that's how I've always, it's what I feel anyway. That's but that's I'm what I'm saying do. though. That's what I'm saying though. That's what I'm saying. Like if you don't have the, income like it's hard to demand that if you don't have the income to or you don't have the ability to create that situation and some of that might mean scaling back i have a homeboy i have i have a co-worker whose wife doesn't work and i know i mean i'm probably making about the same that he is now he was then now and i look at our life and i was like mm, right but they scale back they didn't live in whatever the case may be. They had a smaller situation, whatever the case may be. She took care of the kids or whatever. And he took care of everything. So I'm pretty sure, like, you know, there was a concept of this. And this is not necessarily, like, a purchase scenario. It's more so a scenario of, look, I am willing to ensure that all these responsibilities are taken care of, ultimately. So right. the trade-off... Have it. My mindset says I will get a second and third job. Like, I'd rather work than to and you have that option of what you're doing here like that's what i guess my mindset said if i couldn't do it this way i would just go get two or three more jobs and figure it out that way so i could afford those things but i'd much rather work than to do that shit <laughs> i just don't don't want to do that <laughs> that's what i don't want to do <laughs> Wash some damn dishes. <laughs> but I've never had to grow up. I never grew up doing it. So I don't, even if I had to, I, I don't know how, how to. You know what I'm saying? It'd be something I had to learn. I don't know. I got you. Mm-hmm. I got you. And that makes sense. That makes sense. And but that's just a reality. Where the reality is what you've seen. And, you know, I wouldn't necessarily call it. Well, I have wrong. two sisters. So my parents always had my sisters do that. I took out the trash. I mowed the lawns. I washed cars. I, I did all that shit with my dad. So that's how I guess I always saw it that way. Yeah. Like I, like, it's that's not how that, the responsibilities you know, were split up. So yeah, they were split up. Kid. My sisters did the dishes. My sisters, you know, they you know they did the things on the inside. Me and my dad did all the outside shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's makes, what I was like, now it's like even sense. if someone gave me a dish, I'm like, like I could I could go wash the dish right now. Liz will cuss me out. Why are you so much goddamn dish charger? I'm like I. I don't know. I'll buy some more. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to do. This is super. Con- it's definitely a cultural thing, bro. Because I, uh, I had, a, I have, I have another story. Uh, um, we had some uh, 
some people from church over for Thanksgiving and uh, Nigerian family. And, you know, at the end of the day, everyone's done eating and everyone's just like sitting on the li- in the living room drinking wine and just talking and chilling. And one of the family, one of the, uh, the guests that were over there, the, the, the teenage daughter, I think she was like 16 or 17, got up and started helping my mom with the dishes. Like she just started, and like one of my homeboys, one of uh, the homeboys that was that was there was like, "What is she doing? Why is she doing that?" And we made the biggest deal. And my mom, my mom, and his brother, her his, her brother, was like, "Hey, bro, that's just culture, bro. Like, just chill, chill the fuck out. Like, that's culture. Like, leave it alone. <laughs> just leave You're it alone." So upset. <laughs> mm. As long as you don't ask me to do shit, I'm cool. Don't <laughs> ask me to do it. Man. but i mean like like so current day though like it feels like everything's being split up because uh, you know everybody subscribing to the the beta male is killing masculinity blah 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 you know what mark was saying and they're killing masculinity they <laughs> want beta males that. they want amazing <laughs> children and everybody's subscribing to that so now everybody's like there is no gender like a solid gender role of you play this in the relationship or whatever it's interchangeable now so i think I feel that's like it what... could be interchangeable but it also feels like <clears throat> me raising a son is like i'd i'd rather you work you know what i'm saying don't go find a girl that is gonna take care of you you take care of women no like, i mean like job. it's it's more so of like a 50 50 like both sides are coming to the table. I think you guys have to work as a team 50-50. But even if like even if my son doesn't have like a, a six figure job, right? right? Well, if you don't have that, I want I, I need you to go. My husband works his ass off for this family. You don't have to make six figures, but you gotta bust your ass, man. I don't need you sitting on the couch playing 2K. I'd tell you what I don't want you to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you go to you know you go to your Burger King job and come back home and you want to play two K real estate? Nah, brother, <laughs> you're already fucking up one way. <laughs> like you need to bust Man. your ass. Man. And that's the only like that's the only, that's all I want is if you work hard, she understands you're working hard. She'll do what she needs. Like I think her body, like women can just do things. I I, I look at Liz right and I go, she does things I can't do. I can't do it. I can't put up with the kids for eighteen hours. Like I can't. Mm-hmm. Like I look at them for a while. I'm like, yo, go up front. <laughs> Get so, the fuck out of here. <laughs> so, but I mean, like, what if you run into a woman that does that? Like, right? They do that for the kids. So, I mean, that could be transferred. Those you could transfer those skills into something like project management and be amazing, right? So, yeah. if the woman came in here and an ex- executive job or whatnot. You're not making that much. Like, I don't think that should change the dynamic of like but there's some men built for that i'm not one of them i, I guess is i i'm not one of them no i got you but i think you should do what it works for, i think you should i think so for me i look at it like this like um, but i just feel I, like women are stronger though they're 100 percent stronger like they can still do what you're talking about tim and then go home and like take care of a family for the next 24 hours it's, it's insane mm-hmm. watching them work yeah i give <laughs> that and you know, and Chris is the toxic one, so you know he's not kidding. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, what I'll say is this: I think I look at so I guess I'm a little more flimsy, and when it comes down to it, it's a little wishy-washy. I look at it like this: you do what works for you in your situation. Um, you do what works for you in your situation. One of the things I've noticed about myself is that my scenario requires attention, so. One of the reasons why getting another job or getting a sick job has not necessarily been a thing that I've done is because back in, especially during the broke days, was because it's like, if I leave you here by yourself while, and I'm constantly working, then I have to deal with the fact that you're emotional because I'm not here. And now you feel like you're just in this relationship by yourself, right? So there's that aspect, right? That's that thing that we have to deal with. And so there's always a balance. For me, I had to figure out the balance, the balance between working because the job I was working at the time was a job that I had to take home so you can take the extra hours. Like, so I didn't necessarily have to work an extra job, but I could make extra money by just putting in more hours into the job I had because I was working sales. So it's like, okay, cool. I could take, you know, I can make maximize all the time that I had during the office for sales and then come and come home and do the back office stuff at home. 
And I did that for a little bit. And then there was, became the issue of like, well, you know, I, I don't, we don't talk at all. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're always on this laptop doing X, Y, and Z, right? So I had to learn balance, right? While you, on the other hand, you, your scenario, your situation seemed like work because, you know, I, you know, I know your story. So I know that there were situations where maybe you had to go other places or do, it, or do whatever you had to do, but there was an understanding, like you're providing this, this, and that. And, you know, you, you guys had your own, you know, threshold where it's like, okay, that's you're doing too much of that. I need you back here or whatever the case may be. I think ultimately speaking, the problem with all of us is that we do this thing where we go, it has to be this way. It has to be this way. I'm all yeah. about doing, I'm all about doing what works and I'm all about doing what has most likely to work based upon this research and study, right? Uh, 100%. But I'm also about the concept that sometimes that shit doesn't work for you, sir or (laughs) ma'am. So do what works for you. I think oftentimes when us dudes, we get into these relationships and there's always the dudes that are talking that shit. Like they never, you've never really seen them in a stable relationship. Like oftentimes marriage comes, relationship and marriage comes with this concept of, look, this is my beliefs and my thought systems. What are your beliefs and thought systems? Okay, let's see if we can syner- find some sort of synergy between that. Mm-hmm. Like, it looks like, it sounds like you and Liz have a synergy. You guys understand each other. That's your role, that's your role. No, but it, it wasn't an understanding. It took, it, it took, like I said before, me and Liz are like two wolves. It, it took a long fucking time to figure that shit out. Like, even to this day, like, you know, recently she's starting to understand like because you know her whole family is based on that they take care of a lot of shit her the women do like they are just really fucking strong women and they're used to just you know bulldozing men <laughs> that's just what they do like and you know so me and her had a lot of classes but she's like i understand now like you know i don't really have the same worries they have so it's like one of those things that just it takes time but you have to figure that shit out. Yeah. And, I mean, and it takes time to figure out those synergies. 100%. I agree with you. That it definitely takes time to figure out those synergies. But I think, I think that's the thing. I think everyone deals in absolutes. Like, you must be the man and go well, out and hunt bears and bears and whatever. It's how everybody positions it. It's like you either have to be an alpha or a beta. There is no mixture of personality where you, you know, live in both worlds and all that and it's like that's not the real world we're all like nobody walks the same path so obviously you're gonna have to uh bend on certain things or I or mean, just prove i think sometimes you have to prove for me anyway right i give you my example is like you have to prove it like <clears throat> she was so used to taking care of things because i was fucking up all the time and so when it became a time mm-hmm. for that transition to hit, it was like, hey, listen, I'm taking care of this now. And mm-hmm. it's like, you have, to cont- you have to be on a consistent basis of taking care of things to a point where she goes, oh, oh okay. I don't have That's to really that. deliver. This, this is the thing now. Right. And then I think it's like with women, because I think women are just, they're different creatures. Like, they're, they're just, they get it, they get it done. Because sometimes I watch and I go, That's impressive. Because <laughs> I damn sure can't do that shit. Mm-hmm. I can put up with people. I can't put up with little people like like that. Like they're fucking annoying. I can say that because I have kids. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are fucking annoying. But you love them to death. And <laughs> you go, how does someone put up with this for eight hours? Right. It's hard. I, Thirty minutes. I'm like, whew do you got somewhere to be <laughs> like, what do y'all what do y'all do we just want to be back here with you nah nah hell nah go up front <laughs> get the get out of here so mm. that i think it's just like a i don't know like i was thinking about what you just said earlier tim about you know women like i'd much rather work with women because they work harder like if i had to employ people i'd rather mm. employ women they work harder 100 mm-hmm. percent, and they don't have like the same obstacles or yeah you, if you can tell a woman hey i need x y and z done she's gonna do x y and z 
and that's it there's no yeah yeah weirdness Flashback. about it yeah <laughs> I, this yeah. is your job. This is what you're going to do. And they go, okay, here. Here you go. It's done. Man. They're going to give it to you 100% every time. Men is a little complicated. <laughs> They're like, oh, I got it. kind of got it for you. Hold on. <laughs> Let me explain why I didn't get everything. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Come on, on, dog. <laughs> Come on, dog. You gave me three days to do it. I needed, I needed really about five. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, that's true, though. Because they'll, they'll just put it all there. Yeah. They'll put it all together that first day and ask all the right questions. And then we'll, yeah. we'll think about it until like the second this? day. Like, oh, that? wait. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, what, what happened? <laughs> no, we don't ask the day of. What do you say you need it? <laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> <Right. laughs> <Shit. laughs> what do you mean? You know, I couldn't get that in a day. <laughs> like, you had five days. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but you just said it in the stand up this morning. <laughs> like, <gasps> yeah. <shit>. yeah <laughs> every woman they're like they're just like on a mission this is a chick i work with now and she's like like what listening to her talk is impressive i was like impressed and i'm like fuck you <laughs> she's, she's on it i gotta but get rid like, of you you're right nah you're right. hell no nah. stay in front but she's she's just, impressed just and she just it. knows so much and she like just listen to her talk is like good for her but then you you know you grab timmy from mm-hmm. you know procurement <laughs> he's like huh <laughs> what <laughs> like there's one guy that we work with and he's still he's been there for a year and we're like can you put this budget together well i gotta get my tires fixed <laughs> What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I've been putting these tires off for like the last two weeks. I was wondering if I could take the rest of the day to go get it done. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you want to, but you still, can you get this done by, <laughs> by at least tomorrow morning? I don't know, man. <laughs> Let's try. Is that a conversation you had? Yeah, that's an actual conversation. Oh. Actual conversation. It was, we need this budget tomorrow. Uh, can you get it done? He's been working there for a year. He's like, yeah, I call him at four. I'm like, so do we have it done? He's like, oh man, uh, I gotta get my tires put on my truck. Okay. (laughs) 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 Do you you have the budget done? (laughs) Uh, I wasn't quite sure how to get it done. You know, Hmm. I sent the email this morning, right? Yeah, man, I was finna get it done. You know, some things came up. Okay, all right, all right. So you're gonna have it done by tomorrow? Like, you're gonna get your tires fixed and finished up tonight? What, what are we doing here? All right. Man, do you think you get, we'd be in the morning, we go over it? Oh, so I should just do it. <laughs> 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 okay, I was like, nah, nah, go ahead. All right. <laughs> Okay. That phone call turned to another phone call. I was like, who is this guy? <laughs> who is he? <laughs> and I found out that he's had problems with everybody. I'm like, oh yeah, he's having problems with me too. <laughs> Damn. Smitson. Smitson. Yeah, yeah. Hey man. I asked you first thing in the morning, you come with four o'clock. I get I gotta get put tires on my truck, you tripping. You think yeah, I'm that is. That is true. You gotta put tires in the truck, bro. That's crazy. Good for him. You got tires put on his truck. I hope he did. Well, Last pair of tires you put on that fucking truck from. <laughs> oh well, we're we're veering off. So I guess do we have any closing remarks? Any any gems for the the audience? We gotta stop letting this current <laughs> current environment turn us all into beta males. And all we we should be out hunting and gathering and making money and then having sex with the girls that and the girls that we want to have sex with should want to have sex with us and then yeah that's all I got. That's it. I got a. If you haven't had sex by the age of thirty, <laughs> you probably aren't going to have no sex, brother. <laughs> you might be looking at the wrong demographic of things. You might want to change whatever you got going on. Just change some things, man. You just, it might not be your game. 
And, and I guess I'll, I'll piggyback off of that. Like, this is a numbers game. Just just go out there and have fun. You're you going to miss some. You're going to hit some. You might get talked about. So what? You ain't that 80% that's a virgin. <laughs> if you're that what scared, I'll say, go what out I'll of town say. and start. They'll, they'll never see you again. Well, this, right. this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say this. I'm going to actually say something that I've actually been used to anybody who it might be in that percentage. Half of the enjoyment of going out here and trying to get your girls oh, is the journey. If you understand that, all the pressure that you're putting on, on, your, on yourselves while you're trying to talk to that girl dissipates immediately. This is about if you can. If you can just absorb that mentality. I just want to know if I can. Oh, I can. Okay. Can I? <laughs> if, you, if you absorb that mentality, that's it. Half of, I say a good half to 75% of that anxiety that you feel melts away when you truly absorb that mentality. When they say it's a numbers game, it's really just about understanding. I just want to know if I can do that. Society will tell you. And if you can't, okay, figure out what it is that you need to do to do that. If not, whatever, go on to the next one. But don't let this current society turn us into beta males that, All right. that, 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 and that with wash that, dishes and take thanks care for of the tuning kids. In. <laughs> we'll be back next week with some more hot topics. Um, as always, ring that bell, drop a comment. If you like what we're saying, let us know. If you don't, like, let us know. You have a topic of your own, throw it at us. But Peace. Uh, hey, uh, y'all think you're on the phone for a minute? Uh, what time is it? Yeah. It's 11 30. Yeah. All right. Cool.